my drive. One of his ways is keeping for you. In my financial situation. So, hi YouTube, miss you guys, it hasn't been a while since I posted a video, I've been so freaking preoccupied in general, and I'm sorry, I know I told you guys in the beginning of me making the channel that I know, I knew, like, literally going into the school year that it was going to be harder for me to be, um, focusing on school and everything that was going on, and then trying to post videos at the same time, I'm sorry that I haven't really been able to post as many as I wanted to lately, and I want, uh, every time I want to just be like, oh, I'll just post, like, an old video that I made, just be like, oh, old one from the vault, but I really want to, like, post up-to-date videos because my makeup style has really changed a lot since I first started doing video, and from all, for a lot of my old pre-recorded ones, because I literally, like, kind of just load up and learn like different tactics and different ways to do stuff and I have like all new stuff that I like to test out and show you guys all new videos so I always get a new like even if it's just one thing I always get a new product that I like to test out and like use the video and then like eventually like go over it in a haul and be like okay remember and then like go quote back to that thing but besides that come to you guys hit that like subscribe and everything and I will be coming to you guys with and I'm gonna thank Shane Dawson and Tana Moto for this, a conspiracy theory, and they literally have like some of the best, if you ever want to see any good ones, go check out Shane Dawson's, he has some of the best conspiracy theories, like I think I literally watch like everyone on his channel, on his channel because they just got me hooked on them, but the theories that I'm gonna be going with today are the Mandela Effect, and if you've heard of it, then you kind of know what it is, or if not, like the Mandela Effect is the, like kind of, I'm just gonna the murder basic idea concept I think, the idea that somebody could have went back to the past and then changed something that later on in the future caused like a drastic change where like like they can say they go back and change like a brand name and then like half the people in that like timeline would remember that and like remember it as it was stated and the other like certain people would would like remember it as this and be like it's always been that way. Well that's how it's been with a lot of things lately. Like for the Mandela effect, like I literally have been watching this crap and it's been blowing the my fucking mind. Like I've been showing people this in school, like it's crazy. Like I freaking I've been going to school telling everybody about this and it's literally like they've been like mind blown and they're like, bitch are you crazy though? And I'm just like no, this just literally like my mind isn't blown by things that often and this whole like concept of my idea really blew my mind. But besides me talking on and badgering on and all that other crap, I'm gonna go into the first Mandela effect. <laughs> Got my cue card. Alright, let's see. So the first one we're gonna go with, okay, so everybody, you know the creator of Family Guy, right? Creator of like most of the funny shows on Adult Swim, creator of Family Guy, creator of American Dad, um, I think he created some other shows. Like I know he created a lot. Seth McFarlane, right? Mick, like Seth McFarlane, like uh, McDouble, McDonald's, right, like that, right? No, apparently, the whole time from our whole lives, it's always been spelled Seth MacFarlane, M-A-C-K-F-A-R-L-A-N-E, I'm pretty sure that's how you spell the rest of it, but the beginning part was the only important part, and it kind of like blew my mind, because so I was like, what the fuck, like, I know I've seen it always, like, I used to see him in credits and be like, oh, McFarlane, like, and then I'd always instantly think McDonald's, like, McFarland, so that one blew my mind. Okay, so the next Mandela effect is one that like literally has had me baffled. Like I showed so many people this, and then there's so many people who were like, "No, that's totally wrong. Like I don't believe that. Like it's always been this way." And then there's the people that are like, "No, my God, that's crazy as hell." Like no, I remember when they wait. No, they changed it, but that's crazy. Like what do you saw this? Mandela effect was the like, is the kick symbol. Now I know a lot of people. I'm not even gonna say a lot of people. I'm just gonna like see if I'm keep from this. Do it how I did the first one. So everybody remembers how Kit Kat spelled K. I T. K. A T. Kit Kat. Kit Kat. Very simple. Now I remember when I was a kid, it was K I T dash K A T. And then a lot of people that I mentioned it to, they've been like. That's crazy, like I remember that too. Like it's always been kit that cash. Like what do you mean? Like I I I eat Kit Kats all the time, it's Kit that cash. And then I tell them like no if you go look at a Kit Kat and label them out, it's Kit Kat, just Kit Kat. And I remember the dash me there because it really like made it symbolize that you knew that they were like two distinctly different words. Kit that cash. Kit that cash. Kit that cash. And it was like it kinda of blew my mind. I was baffled by this. So I went and like searching this research and I was just looking at it and when you if you Google Kit Kat, it literally always pops up. K I T K T just straight up. There's no dash marks that have ever been included in this are apparently new timeline type thing. Like it's from like who's got a chicken machine off and then take a video and everything. 
like hear more on it. Kind of just kind of gives me like, kind of like great description. I'm gonna tell you guys some like my favorite pandemic effects. I like that one really blew my mind because I'm gonna show the um label right here. To like you you see what I mean, right? That's like that's what we see now. And then, that's what I would make for. But then I'm gonna show you an image that looks like right here. Like this is. This dude literally found this label in his pocket and he was like, I told you guys, I remember there being a dash in the middle and this is literally the label from when he was a kid. And then the thing that I've heard a lot of people was, oh, well, it probably just changed, they probably just reinvented the name and everything. And I was just like, well, that's like, that could be true. But then it's like, why is that if I search it up anywhere, if I search for the images anywhere, the only images that I'm finding are ones that were like photoshopped to like look like what we remember it as and they're like linked to other mental effects because people are talking about this and they're remembering. But it's like, that dude like literally found it, took it out of his pocket, and then he posted it on a forum for other people to see because he wanted them to like, you know, like, that, that was actually a thing, like, I remember that, I remember the dash, it was just like, it was a really cool thing, like, I liked it, it was a nifty part of it. Um, Captain Crunch. Now, I remember it always being, Crunch ties me, Captain. Like, that was their little commercial thing. Like, I remember that when I was a little kid, it used to like, catch me, like, all right, like, Crunch ties me, Captain, and like, do my little, like, stupid little kid thing. But apparently it's always been Captain, the Captain, 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 Captain Crunch. Crunch tied me, Captain. The fuck? How stupid do we look like that we can't say Captain? Like we could obviously say Captain. Like that wasn't even like a clever, like good play on words. Crunch had like Cap, Captain Crunch. That didn't even make any sense. Like if anybody, if I ever saw that, I'd be like, that's the dumbest cereal I've ever seen ever. Like I would have never ate that. But it was Captain Crunch. And then like, if you go check it out now, it's always been Captain, C-A-P apostrophe N right there. But I remember Captain Crunch. So maybe I'm just crazy or maybe like, you know, me and half the world are just crazy. Like, I don't know. <laughs> God forbid. Another thing that I love is, um, everybody remembers the famous line from Star Wars, right? Luke, I am your father. Wrong. It is just, oh my God, I can hear my lights falling over there. I have my tree and my lights and everything set up. I know you're looking all festive, but they're like falling. You're hearing the tape falling. But no. Oh, see, damn it just fell. But no, apparently it's always been, I am your father. It's a, the dramatic pause leading up to blah, 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 blah. No, I am your father. You're lying. Like, what the, what the fuck? No, that's like, that's not how it goes. It's always been Luke, I am your father. And then like the thing that always caught me apart was how everybody would be like, yeah, I can't believe like we never even noticed that. But there's like people who have literally have toys that have come out with that have Darth Vader talking where he literally says, Luke, I am your father, because like that's like that was the official thing, like that's what he said. And then even if you go check with the script of the dude who like originally said the dialogue, his he quotes it and he always does as stating Luke, I am your father. So it kinda like blew my damn mind. I was like, even if, if he actually remembers that and he like quotes it as that all the time, then it like had to have been a thing. Like it wasn't like, you know, everybody just made this crap up. And even the way that he says it sounds like the flow of how I remember it. And it's just like even if you check any old copies, it's never been that way so it blows my it blows my mind um since we're on the topic of movie lines um another one that freaking literally blew my i can't remember what the hell the movie's from but i know when i say this line you're all gonna know what movie i'm talking about and i would definitely be like leaving um like links and the names of everything down in the description so you can go check them all out for yourself and go check out all the images of quotes for yourself and everything but do you remember the have you ever heard this quote you like me you really like me like i remember that from a movie and like i remember like seeing it in tv shows and they'd quote it and i'd be like that's so freaking hilarious and like even to this day like i would like i've told people like i've literally walked up to be walked up walked up oh god i'm gonna off myself i've literally walked up to people and been like you like me you really like me and i've been like knowing what movie i'm quoting and i'd be like yeah that's so cute no apparently it's always been you like me right now you really like me. And I was just like, that doesn't even like sound like, why the fuck would you even say that in the movie to be like, that's not even clever. Like go sit your ass down, go like rethink and reinvent your life. Cause you need to get that shit together. Cause um, you're doing a little bit too much of that shit. It's like all these shits just blow my fucking mind. The cat, like the kick out one, literally that's some bullshit. I would have noticed. Um, another one that I love is, um, since we're, you know, in Christmas time, does anybody remember our favorite little song, 
deck balls with bells of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Da 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 da. Can't sing. I'm not gonna keep singing because I'm fucking tone deaf, you guys. God forbid it for me to lie. But apparently, it's been deck the hall this whole time, and we've all been singing it wrong because we're fucking stupid ass, primitive ass apes people. It's apparently been deck the hall with bells of holly. Fa la 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 la. Like been to deck the hall with but like that just it just sounds so offbeat and just horrible. It makes me want to just like <laughs> like I don't even I don't know why that would ever be like like off yourself. No, that just doesn't even make any sense. Like I just oh shit, like that gets like that. Like this is why they were just blowing my mind. Um, you guys remember the Looney Tunes label, right? You remember it being spelled L O N E Y T O O N S, right? Looney Tunes because it was like. They are made by like the same people who made Toontown, so it's always been like T O O N S, like just like Cartoon Network or Nicktoons or like anything where there's been tunes. T O O N S, and then T U N S goes for musical. Like, well, this is um the Looney Tunes label that I remember. This is the label that it's apparently been our whole lives, and we all just didn't notice. Like, even if you check the old school labels, if you Google them, it's apparently always been Looney. Tunes, T U N E S. I shit you not. Go Google it right now. Stop. Pause this fucking video. Don't even watch. Come back. Come back and finish it for the rest of them. And just go check this out. I swear to God. I swear to you. It's Looney Tunes, and it's always been our whole lives, apparently, in this timeline. Because I swear I never remember it being that. It blew my damn mind. Like you can check it and Google everything, and it'll show you old pictures and everything. And it's always apparently been spelled Looney Tunes. T U N E. I don't know why I keep doing this. Like I'm making it up to see, like trying to make it new, but no. But I'm fucking with you. But like literally, it blew my mind. Like two with the max. So. Whew. I had help with even my twelfth grade. I swear to you, Shane Dawson had me like ready to just like fucking question everything in life. Whew. Another one that I remember, if was everybody, everybody was a little kid once, like, right? We were all little kids. We all, like, grew up, came out mom and daddy, and we were like, ooh, look, I'm a child. I'm a baby child. So we all had peanut butter and jelly during our childhood, like, if you're a normal person. If you're not and you're allergic, I'm sorry for you. Your life sucks. Like, just go. The, the window's over there. You can just jump on out. Just go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll see you on the bottom. I'll see you on the bottom. I'll tell you the rest of the story when you land. Do you ever remember hearing of a brand of okay now this brand of peanut butter that i'm referencing to was by the name of jiffy peanut butter jiffy peanut butter and that was like really good really popular brand and now a lot of people remember like this being an actual brand that was out there people can go out there and buy it in the store people can go out there and be like i love some jiffy peanut butter and put it on everything put it on your pb and j and all that other good stuff so why is it now that if you Google it anyways, it's apparently been Jeff, just Jeff, J I F, Jeff, fucking Jeff, this whole time? But so many people remember it as being Jiffy, or they remember like at least like being like they remember two distinct like they they remember the Jeff and the Jiffy faces, but like they just don't remember it. They're never having the Jeff ever existing in creation ever so it kind of like blew a lot of people's minds it kind of blew my too because i was like i remember like hearing the name jiffy peanut butter growing up in the dog because we were just all illiterate people who just didn't know how to read anything and we were just like oh wow well, jiffy jiffy like no we were just all like mad stupid and naive like i do remember like a jiffy peanut butter growing up so i mean maybe i'm just like a little crazy maybe i'm just a little too old you guys i might like be getting dementia or some crazy shit like i don't know fuck my life but on to the next one. Now, I don't know if a lot of you probably don't remember because if you're like living in this century and you're like around my age group, I know that you're probably lazy as hell and you have never looked at a globe so you don't know what the hell I'm talking about. But there's this round spherical object called a globe. Fuck it, right? Blows your fucking mind. Wait, wait till I get to the best part. It shows the earth. Oh shit, shit, shit. Yeah, yeah, okay, so. The globe. Okay, so if you ever look in there and then you go around and you look around the planet, look around the planet and you're like, oh, I want to see what's over here on this side and over here. Well, let's, let's see. What's next to China? What's next to Japan? Let's see. Okay. Well, besides all the BS, if you check off the coast of Australia, like, 
And I specifically remember this, like, seeing this island at one point. Like, I don't even know if it was an island. It might have been a fucking country because it wasn't small. But I'll post a picture. I get the picture up here. The picture, like, right here. This, it's all starting. This is the coast now. There's obviously nothing like, next to it and everything. Like, you obviously can't see anything. Now, if you ever, like, there's a, even a movie I have to, like, search into it. And like I said, I'll be putting everything down in the description that I can't, that I can't remember off the top of my head right now on the recording. But I want you guys to go check it later. There was um, a point where you could see like there was a like coastal like country or island, I don't even know what the hell you would call it, off the coast of Australia that was just like a big landmass right next to it that I remember being there and I remember being a little kid and I was like, oh, that must be like where New Zealand is because you know, I was in some naive little child, don't judge me, I may be beautiful. Please don't judge me, I'm not no, I'm fucking with you. But I remember there being like a little island there. Now, if you check any ropes out, like I said, it looks like that. But if you look at this picture right here, you see that? Do you see that island off the coast? Do you do you ever remember seeing that there? Like, if you've ever looked at one, I know what you have. If you ever have looked at one, though, do you ever remember that being there? Because that was there. I remember actually seeing that there. I remember, like, I've looked at. I remember looking at a map recently, like within the last couple of years, and I remember being like, what the fuck? Like, I remember there being something there. Trippy, right? Another one is the um, label for the Febreze bottle. Now, a lot of these, like, things that they've changed down with the names and everything, they've changed into more dumbed down names. Or, like, they've tried to, like, correct punctuation in certain ones that were already dumbed down. Like, it's really weird. But if you go check it out, like things like Chick Fil A, like a lot of people remember, and even me remember it being spelled C. You're gonna be like, you bitches are probably just not reading this by you're stupid. I remember being spelled C H I C. And then Fillet, Chick Fil A, and then they recently even the K added onto it, which I don't remember. But I mean, I might be wrong. I've only been Chick Fil A like once, so don't quote me on it. But like a lot of people remember it just being C H I C Fillet. Instead of being C H I C and now post new label? What people remember? I'd have been better one. You tell me if they're right or wrong. Um another one that a lot of people remember is the Febreze label. Now this one is one that they dumbed down more and that like kind of like sense of matter. Now the Febreze label, a lot of people remember it being spelled like how you would spell Febreze. Like it's not a real word, but it's just like how much you spell it. F E B R E E Z E, right? Febreze, like Febreze. Or like how they have it, like just make it look, just it made sense. It like seemed real, like that's how it would be. Well, apparently all of our lives it's been F E B R E E Z E, and no one's noticed that. No one's happened to be like, oh, Febreze. I love Febreze. Like, no, 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 no one. No one they, it's one of those things where it's like, there's so many of these Mandela effects, you can go check them out and like, go watch more videos, there's hundreds of these that are like, just really trippy and really creepy, because when you think about a lot of the things, you'll be like, I don't remember it ever being that way, like, it doesn't even make sense for it to be, like, which would have been that way, and then it's just like, my fuck, have I been reading everything wrong my whole life, have I not been paying attention, like, you don't even know, and you just gotta like, just go check it out, just go check it out, you guys, and okay, so for my last couple of ones, I have um, two more, that I'm really not going to go really in depth into, but I really just want you guys to go check them out on your own now because it's just easier to like, I feel like it's more fun to go watch videos that are going to be more extensively into like the theories that I'm about to bring up next. So as you guys know, like I started off the video with stating, it's called the Mandela Effect. The thing that originally brought like notice and like aware to this whole like concept and idea and everything before like all the other BS and everything else that people started noticing was the fact that like, Nelson Mandela recently just died this year. If you guys go check it out and everything, it was, I think it was either this year or last year. I'm sorry that I'm like, I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was earlier this year though. And a lot of people remember, like, and me including, I remember growing up as a child and I remember like being told that like Nelson Mandela like died like years ago. So when I just heard that he like just died like recently, it kind of blew my mind because I was like, that's like weird. Like I remember him being like gone for a long time. I remember being a little kid and I was really stupid. I thought that, I don't, don't ask me why, they they don't even really look that much alike at all, but I thought that Nelson Mandela and Morgan Freeman were the same person. Like I always got the names confused and I was like, oh yeah, no, wait, was it Nelson Mandela and Morgan? Yeah, Morgan Freeman, that's what I say, Samuel Jackson, but not him. 
and I would always get them confused. So I was like, oh yeah, no, I remember Nelson Mandela. He's like my favorite narrator. They were like, no, 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 Nelson Mandela was the guy who died. But he was, uh, um, oh, I thought, I thought it stopped recording. But they, uh, then like, you know, in another game, like a whole like speech about who he was and how I should know who he is. And oh, how dare you not know he helped in Africa, know your culture. And I was like, just off myself. So I remember that, but then if you go check it out now, he just died recently, and like a lot of people remember him dying like a while ago in prison, but instead he died like in this newfound way, which kind of blew a lot of people's minds, and they were like, what the fuck, like, what the fuck, like, you can't just say that somebody died years ago, and be like, oh yeah, they just died, actually, and it was by this, and then just be like, oh, that other death never happened, I don't know what you guys are talking about, like, that shit like that blows people's minds, and it blew my fucking mind, so you guys go check into that. And then the last one, which was the death of Gene Wilder, and everybody remembers that happened, like, just earlier this year, Gene Wilder, the dude from Mantra, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, just died, like, recently this year. But I remember him dying in 2013, like, I remember them specifically being, like, Gene Wilder has passed on. I remember being really sad, it was really crazy and everything, and if you even check, like, this post right here, they did like a dedication to him on Facebook and everything. Like I remember there were like news broadcasts about Gene Wilder's death and I remember being so sad. I was like, oh, the Willy Wonka guy, he made it so far. He was so old. But then like, if you like, how did he just die this year? He's been dead for years, like, and, and stuff like that. So then like, what the, like, what, what the hell, right? And it's just like, blew my mind. So that's it for my Mandela effects, you guys. And yeah, they're not all just like, title names or just like quotes like there's like actual things that have been like changed or weird that i would like you guys to go check into like even for the jfk assassination if you go check out any pictures now from what i've been hearing online there like there are it's apparently now like there was six people in the car but if you check any like old videos or if you talk to anybody else like everybody remembers specifically being two people like four people in the car two in the front two in the back but now there's like six others that blew my mind but like i said you guys go check it out for yourself and let me know how you feel comment down in the description if you guys want me to do more mandela effects also do some research into a company named cern i was watching like mad conspiracy theories after shane dawson and they led me to um hear information about this company and they're they have this thing called the hydro i think it's like a hydro flux capacitor or some crap like that I'm pretty sure that's wrong like don't quote me on it like I'm just trying to think off the top of my head because I don't like going to search and then getting back to you guys so I just want to end the video but I'm pretty sure that's like it's HFC or H something like that and it's just like it's like if you've ever seen like any any family guy or any like TV show things where they show you like how they make like a portal to another world it kind of looks like that like literally to a T like it's a freaking circular thing that like the point of the thing is it like moves particles at such a like high intense speed past each other and past each other and past each other until the point where they like create them to merge and then create like a subatomic bomb and they were trying to understand like the dark matter and everything else in the universe and how like the original like first particles or god creating creation type things came to be and if you just do like research into them like just like shit that like goes on there it's like really like creepy and demented and weird and like just like seeing like things like weird crap like them like conducting experiments where like after they did their experiment there would be like literally like a tornado seem like t thing forming over the building like literally the clouds would like spin up and like turn into a spiral over the building and then like would stop after they were done with their experiment or like if you search in the one where there's this there was a physicist who um ended up going missing like during the middle of one of their experiments which i would love for you guys to go check out they're really like trippy conspiracies just go check out go check out um mandela effect theories go check out um theories on the company by the name of cern this guy named jacob israel i think that's his name does really good videos on all types of conspiracy theories and stuff like that he's like really super religious but i love his videos because he's like he's pretty on point with the info and he's like kind of funny because he gets like mad sometimes Go check out other videos. I hope you guys like this one. If you want to do more mental effect or more conspiracy theories or one more vlog uploads, just let me know. There will be a new bit of beauty bit up next week. I'm sorry that I waited so long to post this one. I was going to post a beauty bit last week, but I ended up watching the video and I literally hated it. And it was freaking ugly. I looked disgusting. I remember I was like crying that day. So I was like, let me not post this. I looked like a fucking crack. And I was like, I did my makeup to match my mood. So it was just horrible. And then my outfit was fleek as hell but it really didn't match my mood to a T. So I was just like that's no no that's I'm not
not doing that one. But yeah, you guys, just let me know if you want to do more of these videos and everything like that. And I love you guys. Keep staying tuned. Please like, subscribe, comment, follow my social media account. Like I said, go check out other Mandela effects. And then just let me know how you feel, what you think about all these. Go leave down the description your comments on any of these that really like suck. And you're like, oh shit, I remember that. Or like, you're fucking just stupid and you're the most strong. Just let me know. I don't care. Love you guys.